Hi, everybody. My thing went out for a second. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to do a smoky eye really quick. It's going to be two colors and two brushes. Um, I'm actually going to do two different eye looks to just show you that this doesn't have to work with just neutrals. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Let me get my website on here in case anybody's interested in possibly doing like virtual lessons with me. Let me get that on there real quick. As you guys hop on, say hi. Tell me how your week has been going. Hello, Frankie. Been so long. Okay, so I'm gonna do it with two brushes. All you need is a simple shadow brush. So just, you know, your average, you could even get like an elf brush, just one of these. Um, shadow brushes that's all it's called and then get a blending brush um i'm using kind of a puffier one if you wanted to you could use something a little bit smaller like this um but i'm gonna go for more of like a blown out sort of look so we're gonna go ahead and do that so the first one that i'm gonna go ahead and do is i'm gonna do neutrals and then i'll show you something with a little more color but let's get the neutral started. So I'm going into my James Charles palette. You guys, if you've seen my videos before, you've seen me use this. Um, and I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go a little bit darker than that original photo, but I'm gonna go ahead and do these two colors right here. And these are gonna be the only two colors I'm gonna need. Hi, Nicole, how's everything been going? Let me move my stuff around really quick here. I was just on a, video call with one of my clients so i had to have everything situated completely different so i'm gonna go ahead and do this have all of you guys subscribed so far to my youtube channel i'm gonna eventually be doing more fun stuff i was tagged in this really crazy um i can't remember her name i'll have to find it so i can like when i actually do the thing i'll have to you know tag her in it as the inspiration or whatever but she made like a face from like here up. So her lips were right in here and she made a new nose like up in here. It was hilarious. I'm sure you guys have probably seen it, but I've been tagged in that so much. So I think that might have to be another YouTube video that I actually start creating just for YouTube. So anyway, I'm going off, off on everything here, but I'm just trying to clean up my space just a little bit here. Hello, 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 everybody. Okay, so like I said, I'm using two brushes, doing two different eyeshadows. Um, as I said before, I'm actually gonna do two different colors um, or two different eye looks. They're still smoky eyes, but different colors. First one's gonna be neutral colors. Next one's gonna be a little more fun just to show you. You can use the same uh, techniques with different colors and get a different look. All right, so what I'm gonna start with first is I'm actually gonna start by putting in my darkest color on my lid. So I'm gonna use my shadow brush right here. This is just, again, like a simple shadow brush. And I'm going to take, as I said before, but as people are hopping on, I can show you again. This is James Charles palette. It's this color right here I'm gonna use. I'm gonna pack it all over my lid. So I'm gonna put some on my powder, my shadow brush. Tap the excess off. I'm gonna press it onto my eye, right on the lid. So I'm just gonna take it, and I've already prepped my eyes, just if anybody's curious. I've already put, um, I put concealer on, and then I set it with a setting powder. So I'm just tapping that in, just like this. Hi, Debbie. Hello, Felicia. Let me see here. I want to tag the one who asked me to do this, Courtney, because she had specifically requested this. So I figure I might as well let her know I'm doing it. Okay. So I'm just, like I said, I'm packing this on right on the lid. I'm going to take a little more color. How's everybody been doing? We just got extended for the uh, stay at home. How's everybody feeling about that? I'm kind of 
feeling both ways about it. It kind of sucks that we have to do this. But I also um, know that it's actually made us have to think about things a little differently, which is kind of nice. Hi, Megan. How you doing? I'm packing this on pretty intensely here. I'm going to do a pretty intense smoky eye. Um, and then, yeah, we're just going to, we're going to end up buffing this out with that lighter color. But I'm bringing this all the way up to the top of my lid. Just like this. Kids have a long weekend this week for um, school, so that's kind of nice. So you can see it's pretty intense already, which is crazy, but um, if you want something a little bit lighter, just do a lighter color. I wanted to get this pretty intense in here. So that's what I'm doing. And I'm bringing it up into my crease just a little bit just to give it something to blend with when I get that lighter color on here. Just like this, I'm gonna keep on going here. And again, I'll show you something else with different colors on my other eye. So if you wanna stick around for that one, you can. Otherwise, I'm just kinda of showing you the basics with this one. So bad for small business owners. Yeah, um, a lot of us are doing the best we can. I know government tries to help out. Um, unfortunately, like with mine, with it being a new business, there's not too much help out there for me. So thankfully, my husband is able to work through all this and we're able to be financially stable. But um, there are a lot of people who don't have that you know, they don't, they aren't able to do that. So it does kind of suck for that. Um, all right, I'm going to go ahead and get into this color right here and I'm using my blending brush right now. So I'm going to tap that in just like that, get off the excess and I'm going to start putting this into my crease and it's going to build it out. I'm going to start on the outer corner. We're going to just go like this. I'm going to focus most of this color into my crease and then we'll buff it out as we get higher up onto the brow bone. But yeah, I definitely understand, Debbie. There's um there are a lot of businesses that might not even make it out of this, which is unfortunate. I'm Michaela. We're doing an intense smoky eye. So I'm just taking more color just so I've got something to work with right here. I'm just going to really buff this in. I'm not pushing on my skin too much, but I am making some pretty good circles in here. And what I did is I'm trying to make sure that there's not as much um, color on my shadow or on my brush as I get into this inner corner right in here. So we're really trying to get diffuse that line between the two colors. And I want a little more, a little more color in here than what I've got so far, just to kind of cope with that. Things look pretty intense right now. I'm going to add more color into here. We're going to really get this smoky eye smoked out. It was a beautiful day out. Anybody else get out there? Um, so what I'm going to do next is I'm I'm actually just wiping this right onto my arm to get any excess off. You can always take a Kleenex or something, but, you know, I, I'd rather do it the messier way. <laughs> um, and then what I'm doing is I'm going to buff out this line right in here. And we're going to really smoke it out. I don't want to have any intense lines right in here. So just circular motions, 
all along the entire line. Just like that. So you can see that's really buffed out. I can see a little bit of a line right in here. Can you guys see that? So we're gonna clean that one up just a little bit more. My stuff is in my way. I always go for my, <laughs> I'm going for the eye that's harder, of course. Okay, just like that. And there is the start of our smoky eye. I'm just gonna get things a little more blended in here just in case it's not. Right like that. So that's the top of the smoky eye. Now we're going to bring that color down so that it really brings into that smoked out look. So I'm gonna take my powder brush or my shadow brush again. I'm gonna make sure that there's a lot of excess off of here. And I'm gonna actually use the tip of this. So we're gonna use this right in here. I'm gonna use that same dark color I used on my lid. And I'm going to again, just put my tip in there, get off any excess. And then we're going to put this underneath my lash line. Just like that. The reason I'm using the tip is because I don't wanna have a ton of this dark stuff underneath. I'm gonna to wanna to buff this out with that lighter color. That's a this just kind of gets that smoked out appearance starting. I'm gonna get a little bit more and I'm going to just make sure I get it right on that lash line. Kids have loved being home, home together so much. You can hear them in the background. <laughs> So now that I've gotten a lot of this off, I am going to drag it just a little bit right on that line, just to buff it out a little bit more. You're gonna hear that word a lot, by the way. With this smoky eyes, you hear a lot of buffing. Um, and then I'm gonna get excess off again, and using that same brush, I'm gonna use the lighter shade of brown, and I'm gonna put it right underneath this dark one. So again, this color right here. I'm going just on the tip of my brush, tap off excess, and we're going to buff it out a little bit more. We're gonna get that really smoked. I like to drag it up just a little bit to make sure my lines are lining up really well. And I really want to make sure it's blended because I don't want any crazy lines. Um, and your skin is really sensitive down here. It's it's loose. So you want to make sure you're not pushing too hard because otherwise you'll create those vertical lines. It's like that. There's your smoky eye. If you wanted to, you could put some highlight on there. I'm gonna go ahead and finish it with some mascara real quick, and then we'll go on to the next eye with different colors. So I'm gonna grab one of my wands here. I'll show you guys a trick with um, lashes too, if you don't know it. Anybody have issues with like lashes not curling very well? This is a good tip for you guys. I'm gonna grab my mascara out of here. I need to grab my eyelash curler. And I'm going to actually find, where did I put it? Oh, where are you? I have a lighter over here somewhere. That's what I'm looking for. Anybody know what trick I'm talking about while I try to find my lighter? There it is. <laughs> Goes to tell you how well my desk is put together right now. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take my eyelash curler and I'm going to heat up this rubber part. Kind of like the same idea of like a curling iron. You want something that's warm to um, unbind those, the hair. Boy, I was in cosmetology school, you can't even tell. Um, <laughs> you want to retrain your hair to curl. So same thing with your lashes. You just take a little bit of heat and you just heat up this rubber part. Make sure it's not too hot. 
And then you're just gonna curl your lashes with that. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna curl it, and it's just gonna do the same thing as a curling iron. It's going to retrain the hair to curl. Yep, heat it up, you got it, Nicole. And it just lifts those curl, those lashes. You can't see right now with that color on there, but they're up a little bit higher than they are on this side. You go and just do it a little bit more. You use your hair dryer or straightener. That's a good thing to try to do. Good thing to try to do. Boy, it's been a day. <laughs> I got like no sleep last night because we're in the middle of trying to get offers made on houses and trying to sell ours. So I don't think my husband slept at all last night either. Um, it's just been a day. <laughs> so I'm going to take my mascara wand. I'm going to put it in my mascara. Curl these lashes, and then we'll get some fun colors. Um, let me see. I'm trying to think of what colors I want to try to do together. Something that kind of goes together. Anybody got any ideas? I could even do, like, black with it outlined with a certain color. So I'm just going to do this. I'm I'm, like, tedious when it comes to mascara. like that. I'm going to get my bottom lashes because I can't stand not having them done. There. One eye is done. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye. Let's see. What do we want to do? What do we want to do? I'm not sure what colors I want to do yet. Let me take a peek. This thing is full of colors. Let's see here. <clears throat> what should I do, guys? Let's see. I'm going to do... I haven't done blue in a while. Should I do blue? That'll be fun. i got to clean my brush real quick. My brushes. I'm going to use the same brushes. Where'd my brush cleaner go now? I suppose as long as I just wipe it really good for now. Lime green and lavender. Ooh. Lime green and lavender. I don't know if I have a lavender. That might be one I don't have. I've got like this um this one, but I don't feel like that would go with this green. What do you think? I don't know if those two will go together. Let me see. What else I got? Ooh, let me try not to drop you guys. Oh, you know what? I got a lavender. What am I thinking? Kind of like that one? It's more like lilac, I think, but that could work. I don't know. <laughs> I think I'd do something a little bit darker, but I can definitely do it. You want to see something kind of crazy? Do the lime green and lavender? I can do that. What's that? What lace? All right, so I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do purple on my lid, and I'll do the green on the outside. Do you see how that turns out? I thought you said my name. All right, we'll do it. We'll go crazy. Let's try it. All right, so I'm gonna dip into this. It's more of a lilac, lilac, but we'll do we'll do it anyway. What lace? You can watch it up in your room. Okay. So I'm gonna take this color. We're gonna put it right on there. I'm just gonna pack this right on. So we'll see how this turns out. If it turns out bad, it's Nicole's fault. <laughs> what, Lacey? You're not going to be able to right now. I don't know yet. So this is um, Jawbreaker palette, if anybody's interested in knowing what I'm using. So I'm going to just stick this right on. I really like this formula because it's so soft and buttery. So I'm just going to keep going here. And this, as you can see, this, you can, what am I trying to say here? <laughs> the colors go a longer way when it comes to the James Charles, at least for the Jeffree Star. Um, at least when it comes to this color, for sure. I didn't have to dip in as much. All right. 
We got the purple on. Let's go ahead and set that green and see what happens. I'm trying to see because there's a green in here too, but I don't think that's enough lime green. So let me go ahead and get my green out of my James Charles palette here. I'm going to take that fluffy brush, this one right here. I'm going to make sure it's nice and clean. I'm going to have to get off my shoulder when I need it. I wiggle around a lot when I do my makeup. <laughs> Uh, you know, I've done crazier colors, I think, so I think it'll be okay. All right, I'm going to take this green. We're going to go ahead and get it on there. I'm taking this green woo, way over here. That one. I almost whacked you in the nose. And we are going to take off the excess because there's a lot there. And I'm going to just go ahead and start right out here. I should have used a whiter primer for this one. Really get those colors to come out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and keep blending. What do you think so far? I don't think it looks too bad. What? Can I play the computer? What time is it? Probably getting too late. Huh? Probably getting too late. Okay. But can I All right, we're going to just keep going here. I'm trying to get this dragged on without using too much green in here. Mom, can you though? What time is it, Blake? 806. 8.06. Um, you can for a little bit, but you don't have too much time. I'm just trying to make sure I get this color to like actually show the way it should. So I'm putting a lot of color on right now. That's why it's taking me a little bit longer. As you can see, that pink or the purple is kind of brushing away there, so I'll have to blend it a little bit more with that one. Um, good question. I'm not sure. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and clean off these edges here. Oh, yeah, you're right. The Joker-esque look. I think so. I think that would be... I should have done black lips. That would have looked really cool with this. What? Yeah. So I'm going to really buff this out. And then I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get more purple on there real quick. And we'll try to blend that. Not even the same palette. What am I thinking? Yeah, I kind of like that idea of the Joker Joker type look. I think that's a good way to explain it. So I'm going to go ahead and pat this on again. Make sure we really get it in those two colors together here. So the biggest thing is, as you can see, like you can kind of use this technique with any colors, obviously. I mean, we just use 